hello guys welcome to my channel Oratrix and in this video we're going to see the demonstration of a web module uh, how to use a web module into Apex application okay so we are going to create uh, one app and in which we will get uh, data or we are going to create one uh, report based on the web modules right so let me take you to that but, but before that we would like to create uh, one uh, you know uh, we want to enable the uh, data uh, which we want so go to the SQL workshop object browser and choose the table uh, uh, to which you want the data to be populated like let me choose uh, let's say for example this one demo customers I think uh, okay sufficient data is there you just need to click on this rest and it's uh, as you can see it's not enabled just I want to enable this one okay uh, authorization should be no currently and just click on apply right so as you can see it will uh, display this URI right so just copy this URI go to your application I want to implement into the rest demo right so what we are going to do so we are going to create a page in which we will uh, get all the data of the table okay so which is in which we have already uh, enabled the rest services so just go to this uh, uh, shared component first uh, go down and web source module so we required uh, in the next video I will show you this uh, uh, legacy web service uh, references also so for this video we will be focusing on web source module and you just need to click on this create and I want it from the scratch just click on the next so name uh, Oracle rest data services okay uh, whatever the name you would like to give uh, let me give you Aura tricks underscore rest underscore demo and the URL endpoint which we have copied right so we want to retrieve the data from this one so what this will do this will fetch all the records from the uh, table okay through the rest services and that will be populated into our uh, interactive report like okay just click on next now uh, okay it's working fine now uh, service path is this one so just click next I don't want this author authorization and you can uh, directly click here also and but if you want to test whether that is working or not just click on this discover and it will display the data if it is coming over here that is working file just click on this create web module you're just required to remember this name and we will be back to our application here and now I'm going to create one page let me create one page and uh, it would be a blank page we don't want to add uh, uh, a report here we will be adding separately so table will be uh, our tricks underscore rest underscore demo and we want that a breadcrumb and we don't want any parent entry I just click on next okay no parent entry next okay it's finished so as you can see we have created a blank page now so our page is currently absolutely blank we don't have anything on the page so now we need to create one region right so just right click on it and uh, create a region so region name would be our uh, uh, data was uh, customers I think so customers details I think and here you would be selecting a uh, interactive report right so it will ask you to select the location where uh, from where you want to retrieve your data right so in which we will be selecting this web source right and from here we just need to select this one and we are pretty good go with it and just click on that save and as soon as you run it right as you can see this is every data is coming so we have not fired any query as you can as you know that right and we have just populated all the data uh, with using the rest services so whatever the data is uh, here that is coming from the from the web source module this one which we have been created which we have uh, created right now right but the thing is instead of uh, you know uh, passing or retrieving uh, as a simple JSON file okay it shows uh, us as a pretty much uh, you know a uh, basic report as per as Apex is concerned 
so uh, this is it in this video and uh, we will be working on the same uh, rest services in upcoming videos but in the next uh, videos i will be demonstrating you on uh, this uh, web service references right so i have already been created this one but we will be focusing in the, in the into the next video okay i hope you like my videos and if you uh, have any suggestions or anything that uh, it's always welcome for me i have seen some suggestion i am working on it and as soon as it is it's been done i'll be uploading on the net right thank you so much for watching for video please uh, share and subscribe this channel thank you thank you so much